Okay, so uh, I expected cracks. Uh, I poured a little more, a little more resin into this because it wasn't quite there and I didn't want that witness line. So I poured a little more into it. Uh, this clearly sank down, so I'm going to flatten that. Uh, but other than that, unless I find some cracks on the inside, it looks uh, okay except for this. But we'll get it round and then worry about it because I think I can probably go into that wood. Alright, so what I do have here is some, um, uh, what I used was wooden flowers. Alright, so these are from, is that solo wood flowers? Uh, and I'll put that in the description below. Uh, and I'll put the link right here on the screen too, I think. Uh, they're very delicate, and I've tried this before. Uh, and the problem I found that, because they're balsa wood, uh, it didn't, <laughs> it, it just tore it out. So I figured stabilizing them. And I was kind of going for, uh, if you look at this, like, I'm not sure who did a Starry Night thing. Is it Van Gogh or something like that? But it kind of has that look to it. So that's what I was going for here with the blues and that. So we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, in the description below. And uh, all right, so let me get this, or at least get this flattened out so that I can get the uh, it, we're, 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 worm screw in it. All right, so currently I'm running live with Wood If You Could, John C. He's running live, I'm running live. So I'll put the links in the description below and y'all over and check that out. All right, so somebody's bright idea to put elm in there. <laughs> if you notice, I picked that chunk of elm up off the floor. That's a drop off from the emerald project I did. So uh, we're getting there, finding the flowers. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, right? Yeah, is a staple, see it flash in there? Or something, some kind of metal. Must be how they hold that flower together I didn't know about so hopefully you don't find too much of that but we got a fresh edge and we'll go again Just in case you're wondering, we got what if I could with John C. right there. We got Charles Deering's shiny bald head right there. And then, of course, my finger pointing at you guys that flash your red light right there. Look up and smile, Charles. 
There he is. See? <laughs> so you... I'll put a link for Charles over there. I already put a link for John's. So, there you go. Those guys are scroll sawers. They don't know nothing about wood turning. Okay, since I can't get this to uh, do what I want, and I'm having issues staying on the internet up there, I, oh, that big old hole. I'm going to flip this over and then try to try to do something. I don't know; it's not going well, so uh, it's not staying where I want it. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna change my process here. I keep forgetting to turn the camera on. My internet keeps cutting out. I'm sorry I didn't get to stay in for you guys. Uh, I think that's about it for me with trying to stay into that.
We're going to go from 80 right on through the grits to 800. I'm going to do both sides of this. I put sanding sealer on it and then we'll do some resin coats. There's a couple little pits in it and that. I'm hoping it'll cover. We'll see. It shouldn't bubble. This stuff is stabilized. But I mean, I got a little bit of tear out that should sand out right here. Um, it's just it started getting rough and look at my gosh your twins right, right there <laughs> and they ain't sanded it yet To the boat, two to one resin, or a, a medium set hardener. I am going to preset this thing down to, down to 50 RPMs. Okay, just gonna sand the little nipples off of this. Little air bubble nipples, hear them. Two to one, medium set hardener. Uh, coat number two, hopefully this is the last one, we'll see. Everything's sanded out pretty good. <laughs> no sticker so uh, let's go with this one right here because I'm not sure if I actually shouted him out or not so this is Bailey Woodworks um, so we'll we'll get to you know over there in the corner and, and if I didn't do it I'm sorry so go check him out now let's get to this thing now <laughs> of course you know I'm trying to do resin finish so although this looks really good um, it's like five coats. I could not get the little air dimple pimples or to go away. And, and you can still see if I can get them there. See up through the inside. There's like one right here ish. But this is better than most of it. So, well, these are uh, sola sala sola wood flowers, and they're balsa wood. Uh, it's not quite the effect I was after. Still looks really good though. I like it. Um, it's really cool looking. Good luck getting this one out of the wife. <laughs> She's gonna have another one of those. I don't really want to sell it prices on it. And I put my logo in the bottom and, and I was worried I was putting too much resin in and it wasn't level. So I, I'm a little short right here, but eh, you know, it is what it is. And then I don't see it. Um, the the ring fell off the inside of the pressure pot lid and dropped junk in it. That was last night. And I'm like, all right, I'm done with it. <laughs> but 
I don't see it. I thought it was. I thought it was laying right on top of here, but it isn't. So, uh, so a chunk of elm, leftovers from that other elm elm project I just did, and total boat resin. You know, and I used. Uh, I don't. I think the colors were something I got off a of wish a few years back. They were just there, so I used them. And, and then the Illumilite uh, Ocean Blue, which I got from, I believe, Turntext when I ordered it. But uh, I'm not sure where else you can get it. But that's what I use. And you noticed in the, in the video, it wouldn't stay blue for me. And that, that may be something with the Total Boat Resin. I don't know. But it, it kept changing colors. <laughs> I wanted it darker, and it kept lightening up. So, But the end result is really cool. I like the end result. So links for everything should be in the description below. Uh, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, go over and check out Bailey Woodworks there. And yeah, let's see. Uh, Y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye. I'll put pictures up at the end too.